Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look into the new feature released in Power BI Desktop and November 2022 update. The new feature is called Show Value of Selected Field. Let's look at Power BI, what this new feature is all about, and also take a closer look when this feature will not work. Let's get to Power BI and take a look. So what I have here is I created a field parameter and then uh, this field parameter is getting the column from four different tables. Uh, country is coming from geography, product category from product category table and so forth so on. Product color coming from products table. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward creating a field parameter. Again, I'm not going to walk through how to create field parameter. I already did a video on it. I will share the link of that video in the description of this video. Do check that out. So I'm using field parameter, this new created as in a, as in a slicer. What does this mean is if we pick any value from here uh, or a selection, any column we pick in the slicer that shows up in, um, in the matrix visual and then it dynamically create the hierarchy. Th this, is, this is great. Field parameter is really, really great. It make the visuals are really uh, very dynamic uh, in terms of uh, choosing either fields, columns, or the measures. But in this case, we are just exploring uh, using field parameter as um, uh, columns. So now, uh, the, the, what this new feature is all about, uh, if we select a product category and we want a slicer, which automatically change based on the um, field we have selected in our slicer. So if I selected product category, I want my slicer to sh uh, show all the product categories. And if I select product, it shows all the products and so forth, so on. So how does that work? And that's what this new feature is all about. There's a two ways we can make a copy of this slicer or we can bring our field parameter hierarchy column here. By default, when you drop that column, it, it shows the all the values. But if we switch it to slicer, it shows as the columns what we have in our field parameters. Now, to show uh, the values of what is being selected, what we need to do is we need to change the property of this particular slicer. So let's say we have selected color here, and now currently it is showing color because we haven't changed the property. So, so to show the value of the selected field, what we selected here in the color, what we need to do is we need to go to the field pane here, uh, click drop down next to the column and then there is a feature called show value of selected field. So now when I do that, it is giving me colors uh, because that's what I've selected. If I selected select product, it will show the color and then I automatically create the hierarchy and shows the product. And if I just select product, it is giving me all the products. Again, I can go back and change it back to the show selected field. So you can toggle between show selected field or, um, or show value of selected field. So this is working great. So I can go show value of selected field. And if I select country, now I see all the countries and everything works fine. And one of the problem with this new feature is um, when you have the fields coming from the different tables, uh, you will see an error message. Let me actually walk through what, what that error is. So let's say I've selected country and then I also selected the product and now this is not working. So if I selected two columns, it is not working, but that's not correct. If I select product and color, it works perfectly fine and create the hierarchy. So why it is not working in the case when I select uh, uh, any of these columns and the country column? Just to explain, the country, if we select a single country column, it works perfectly fine. So there's nothing wrong with the, the column country, but it is when we pick country column with any of the other fields in the slicer, that is where it gives the error. And to understand that, what we need to do is we need to look into our data model. So let's go to data model. So what we have here is we have, we have a column product category from product category table, and then the products from the color and product from the product table. So they are related one to many. It's a snowflake schema. But our 
geography, our country column is coming from the geography table. And if we closely look at that, the geography table does not have any relationship with the product or the product category column. And that is the reason why we are getting the error. So if we are selecting the columns from the tables which are have a relationship, then everything works. But when there is a column from a table which does not have the relationship with the other tables where from where we use the columns, this doesn't work. So and that's the problem. And if you look at the error message, the error message give you it doesn't explain much, but it tells you the the issues with the relationship and uh, and that's why it is not working. But the fundamental reason behind that is because the country column does not have direct relationship with the product table, it doesn't work. Even though the product category and the product works fine, they are coming from the two different tables. So product category is coming from the product category table and the product is coming from the product table, but it is still working. And the reason behind that, because there is a relationship between product category and the product table. So because of that relationship, it is working. But the color, uh, the country does not work because it has a uh, coming from a geography table which does not have relationship with the product table. Unfortunately, there is no a, a kind of uh, way to tell the user that why this is not working. Think about if user is consuming these reports and they select these columns and all of a sudden uh, if they're selecting column from the product table, they all they all work. But any, as soon as they add the country, doesn't work. And there is no uh, nicer way to show the error message to the user. Okay, you know because this is an invalid selection or something like that. Um, that's the problem with this new feature. I mean, not a problem. It's a great feature, but it's something one has to be very very careful and educate their user, or maybe find out a way to show the message on the screen to tell the user your selection is invalid. Uh, maybe that is an, uh, something we will try to achieve in the next video. Uh, do subscribe my channel. Maybe in the next video we will look into that, that if we can um, show the, a, a graceful message to the user that you have an invalid selection. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, again, this is a great feature and this, this makes uh, the whole field parameter selection very dynamic and really working with the, uh, showing the values of the selected field in the slides is really really great feature but one has to be careful with that caveat with that pitfall which you can run into or the issue you can run into uh, if the uh, columns are selected from multiple tables which does not have the direct relationship don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you bye for now